I'm going home. Yeah. Fresh air. She hasn't been able to breathe it in for 83 days. That's how long Angela Leach has been in the hospital battling COVID. Oh my gosh. Hi, Bubba. And she's finally leaving the doors of the Altman Rehab Center. I'm a little overwhelmed. Totally excited. My kids. Her two kids have spent countless days without mom, but today is different. This is the greatest day ever. The greatest day because Angela is headed home. Oh. <laughs> That's here in North Canton, surrounded by her husband, Matt, kids, dog, and everything she knows and loves. But there's work to be done. This is my lifeline. Angela still can't breathe without oxygen, a difficult journey that started in April. The Leach family was packed and ready for a vacation to Georgia, but Angela's mother started feeling COVID symptoms. Everything came to a stop when Angela's mother, Angela and Matt all tested positive. Angela's mom was put on a ventilator, then Angela followed the next day. After 23 days of sedation, Angela woke up. It was very bizarre to wake up and nothing moved but my toes and I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And it wasn't really until I looked at my nails. That was the dead giveaway. I keep short nails. And I was like, oh my. Just days later and on her 15th wedding anniversary, her husband arrived at the hospital with tragic news. Angela's mom was never taken off the ventilator. She passed. That, that's the one thing I, I've accepted, you know, that I had COVID, I've accepted that a few times they didn't think I was going to make it, but I haven't quite yet accepted that my mom didn't. I think I thought we did everything else together, that we would heal from COVID together. Angela is still fighting her battle with COVID, a battle her mom couldn't win, but she knows she's rooting her on. My mom was my best friend. Now she's working on getting strong to one day vacation again, bake with her kids and volunteer. Her friends? call her the fixer. I have this overwhelming need to help people and be there for people. It's what keeps me going and it makes me happy. She's the person that we can count on. Um, you know, like a lot of people say that they're there for you and they may not always be there for you. She's always there. And her journey with COVID taught her that the people in her life are always there for her, a time to count her blessings. And we really aren't promised tomorrow, and we're going to live like tomorrow may not come.